Welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. We have a two-for-one Kaiser Vanguard review for you. Vanguard means these are going to be under $100. Uh, this one's right at $100. This one's like $70 something, and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel, guys. I really appreciate you being here. Please like and comment on the video, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you are subscribed, check and make sure you've hit that notification bell so you'll know uh, when we upload new videos and check me out over on instagram at knives fast guys and we would love to have you on a live stream monday nights 7 45 p.m eastern on youtube now we have two kaiser knives um one let's see let's push this back so you can see uh one is the kaiser dogfish that's the back one here uh which you can't see right now uh and uh it's designed by caleb waldman uh it is in 154 cm with a button lock, these are both button locks. And then the second one is the Kaiser K. And I, as I understand it, that stands for cow in some language. I don't know. Uh, again, um, I'll give you the designers in a minute because it's hard to read this real tiny. Uh, it's in my Carta M154, also a button lock. So there are those two. And let's get going, guys. These are gonna get, yeah, these are going to be a little more rapid review than usual. Let's start with the K. Um, now, guys, I did an unboxing of this, and there were some issues I had right off the bat, and the designers kind of reached out and were like, yeah, this and that. And, and I'm, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, when I do these reviews, I'm just giving my opinion. Nothing personal, of course. Um, this one just might not be completely for me. Now, do I love the fact, I absolutely love the fact that you have this great design of the handle down inside uh, I mean, the blade down inside the handle. That is super cool. Um, I think it's more about how this was carried out than the design itself. Now, I, I actually think it's quite inventive that they've taken the liner out here and you end up with your liner back here. You do have a reversible clip that sits down in and has flat screws, so that is wonderful, uh, which means all you have sticking out of the pocket is your lanyard loop here. Um, you know, I'm not big on lanyards, but that doesn't bother me sticking out there. It doesn't get in the way of my grip. It doesn't get in the way of anything. It's not sharp. It's finished well, uh, and that's fine. Now, we do have flat scales, but they are chamfered on the edges, and you do have this chamfer leading into your uh, thumb studs there. Um, it is a button lock. Uh, it does. It is sticking up, which is interesting. It, it does have that kind of grippy uh, appearance. Now, you have this black linen micarta, which gives decent grip. It's kind of smooth, not super grippy. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, and it looks good. It doesn't. Ha it definitely has a good look to it. Um, and you have black hardware all the way around. Now, where my issue comes in is you have... Um, a low profile flipper and a low profile uh, front flipper and the jimping is just very smooth um, you know and so again that could be from the black coating if I got a stonewash version of this knife I bet you it would be just fine but for me I find myself kind of slipping now see I did it good that time so maybe I'm getting you see I slipped off um, and I just that's it. I mean, front flippers are not for me anyway. Um, man, I'm getting it every time now. So, see, you can overcome it. Now, on this one, see, I just can't get a lot of gas behind it. Um, and I would say it's not nearly, it's on bearings, uh, but it definitely tends, well, see, now it's dropping fine. Okay, fine. It is a very solid detent, which is another part of that. Um, this corner here is kind of, as you can see, poking into my finger. Uh, as I flip. And again, guys, again, nothing personal meant in this at all. This is my opinion of the knife. Again, I think the coating will break in. Um, Action-wise, you know, it's not bad. It's dropping pretty good now. It is definitely a stout detent. Now, the thumb studs for me are tough. Um, so you got to really push this one out more than up. Um, and you know, I'm getting it now the more I've played with it because I'm pushing out. I'm getting the side of my thumb and pushing out. It's just really tied up against there. And if you try to push more up and out, um, it hurts. <laughs> it's it's not that the thumb studs are bad um, or anything. Now, the biggest issue on this knife is, the, is this particular. And this is a one-of-one, one, guys. I'm sure you would get one 
And I bet you the black coating just needs to, to break in, but it has got a ton of button stick. The most I've seen on a, on a knife. Um, it is just, it, it hurts a little bit to push after a while you end up with that. Now, uh, I, I'm being kind of tough on this knife, so we're going to redeem it real quick. Uh, there's a little bit of side to side play. And I think that might be because it's so thin, uh, which is going to come in handy in here in just a minute, but it is locked up like a drum. Uh, it is not going anywhere. It is centered. Your blade comes out to the end. Uh, let's get us a piece of cardboard. And of course, I don't have a small one here ready. Uh, but guys, this is where this knife is redeemed. It is a short uh, flat grind, but it is a very thin uh, uh, stock here. So what you end up with is a very nice cutting knife. Uh, this guy will destroy material. I am very pleased with that. Um, and it looks pretty good too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the looks of the knife. Uh, you guys know me in the black Kaiser coating. I wish they would knock that down with a black wash. Uh, you do have a couple of logos here, your designers. It is, uh, and the name, the K, it is 154CM. But man, it is it is absolutely a very nice uh, cutting knife. I like that. Um, in the hand, four fingers, very nice. Um, you know, it does feel uh, like it is a little squared off. It's not contoured, uh, but it's not bad. I mean, it feels good in the hand. You do feel the clip, but it's not a hot spot. It is reversible. You do have a lanyard hole. Feels pretty good. And guys, let's just talk. Uh, price on this one real quick. This is going to be a little longer video since it's two knives and I'm not doing very good at the rapid thing right now. $76 guys and I'll put a link down below at Blade HQ. 7.55 inches overall. 3.2 on the blade. 2.95 on the cutting edge. Uh, the And by the way you got plenty of relief there. Well, You got probably three or four sharpenings there. You can see uh, where the, the plunge comes down a little bit there. Um, three ounces, uh, blah, 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 reversible, all that stuff, made in China by Kaiser. Um, and again, I mean, there's, there's oh, blade thickness, guys, 0 0.10 of an inch. So very thin, very cool. I like it a lot in that regard. And, you know, nice slender design. This carries magnificently in the pocket as far as thinness. So that is the Kaiser Cut. We'll do our comparisons at the end. This is the Dogfish, guys. And this one, um, oh, you know what? Did I ever say who the designers were on the Cut? I don't think I did. Uh, did they have it listed here? Of course not. Uh, Blade HQ sometimes does not list the designers. Oh, come on. And I cannot read it on the end of the box. It is just too small. Uh, let's try it one more time. It is Brian, man, Marcus. Oh, man. I, I cannot read it. Hopefully you guys can. Here, we'll put it up here. I apologize very much. If I get it at the end, I will definitely uh, list it. I just, it is too small for me to read. And I am old. So there you go. All right. If I get it, I will say it at the end. All right. So the next one is the dogfish. Now the dogfish is aluminum with again, that same black finish on the blade. You got kind of a black finish on the aluminum as well uh, with this great, uh, you know, kind of milling here on the aluminum. It is gorgeous looking and it is very grippy guys. Uh, very, very grippy. I like that a lot. Uh, you have uh, what I believe is a, yeah, it's a titanium clip, good in and out of the pocket. I was worried about it not having enough uh, of, of, a, of a ramp there, but it's fine. Didn't have any problems. You got lots of milling inside, just like the cud did. Um, and it is a cool looking drop point blade. Uh, nice, tall grind. Again, this one is also in 154. There is zero button stick on this one. So again, I, I don't, you know, sometimes my carta can cause issues like that. Um, it is on bearings. You can see we have very snappy opening, um, very snappy opening, very free dropping. Uh, it's kind of the tale of two cities, uh, if you will, um, if I hold the button, uh, but very, very nice centered 
comes out to the end. Lockup is good. There is a little side to side, but again, I think because we're dealing with incredibly thin blade uh, thickness here, guys, it just is. So you've got four fingers back here, but actually, guys, choking up on this one is fantastic. You have nice thumb ramp here, and it feels like a good pinch grip. Uh, really nice. You do have your designer's uh, your dogfish logo there, Kaiser. Um, very, very cool on this one. Again, would prefer not that shiny black coating, uh, but the handle is fantastic on this one. Uh, and it is very, very light and snappy. Now, front flipper, you have jimping, but as you can see, let's just do this, guys. It is closer together. You see that? It is much closer together and that provides even with the black coating a much better experience on the front flip i have zero problem front flipping or flipping this one because of that tight jimping it is so good um on that you know you can when when i can front flip it like that you know something has been done well and then again uh it feels like a good detent on this one uh, as well. So really cool. And as far as cutting, um, yes. <laughs> Again, both of these are very nice cutters. Um, not a problem whatsoever. And this one, will, well, you know what? Not quite. Yeah, there we go. There's our pierce. And I didn't really do that on the, on the cut. Uh, yeah, definitely. We can get some piercing going on there as well. So uh, now that I've got a giant mess everywhere, uh, you can look at these knives and we will compare them. Now they are, uh, wait, I got to do my specs on the uh, dogfish here. See, two knives at once is not always a great idea for me. Uh, the dogfish is 7.38 inches, 3.10 on the blade length and the cutting length. Uh, the cutting edge is uh, right at three inches. Uh, plenty, this one's got a little more uh, kind of straight up and down uh, plunge, but still probably three or four, maybe five sharpenings. I don't know. Hard to tell uh, before you have a problem with the smile. 0 0.12 on the blade thickness, so slightly uh, you know, thicker than the Ka, and uh, it is a flat grind. Uh, the handle length is 4.28, um, 4 0.48 on the width, 3.3 ounces, uh, designed by Caleb Waldman. See, that is on there on the uh, on the listing on Blade HQ, that's weird. I got to go back to the to the cut and look. And this one is ninety nine dollars, okay, and available in stock as I record this. Let me go back over here and see if they list. They sure don't. I I don't understand why they don't list it. But let me go find it somewhere else. So seventy six dollars and ninety nine dollars. And here are your comparisons. Here is the Rat Two. These are both slightly bigger than the Rat Two and quite smaller than the rat one. All right, I'm gonna go look the cut up one more place to see if I can find, I hate not giving the designers uh, their props. So we're definitely gonna do this. Um, all right, okay, so the it says it comes from Bryce Mark, oh man, really an ad pops up. Bryce Markle Amaral and Roman worthly real life buddies who work together to bring this design to you okay so that is great guys uh i uh, that is great i wanted to give you your due there is like i said just a few things there that are more about uh manufacturing uh than design for me but uh there you go so that is uh the kubi dogfish kubi kaiser dogfish and the kaiser Ka. uh very cool designs uh, very cool designers, and thank you guys uh, for that. And Kevin left the EDC. Thanks for passing these around. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think. Are either of these kind of in your wheelhouse, things you're interested in? Uh, I would love to hear that. Um, again, very cool uh, design. So, like, uh, sorry this video is longer, but again, it was two knives. So, there you go. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. The Knives Fast channel.